So we just got a package uh, coming from Utah. Customer's name is C. Dot. His last name or her last name. I do not know what the name of the customer is. I do not like to say last names on camera. And that's for an iPhone 6S Plus. Touch screen not working. Screen replacement and looks like some of the filters around the. So there's missing filters. Uh, it's a very common issue with the 6S Plus. When you change the screen, you end up ripping components from under the FPC connector. These components are extremely tiny. Usually people who pry the screens with their nail or with sharp objects, they can tear the components off the board. Okay, and that's it. So customer sent a screen and an open phone. So we can go directly to the phone. We do not have to open it. And let's take a look. So right off the bat, I see two missing components. I see a missing component here and a missing one here. These two components are empty by default, just like, like those two components. They're missing, they're empty by default. Uh, this component is a capacitor and this component is a filter. And this filter is very important because if you do not have this filter, then touch is not going to work. Let's take a look at the board diagram so I can show you what I mean. The missing component is this one here. These two are empty, this and this. They're empty by default. And another missing component is this one here. So this is a filter, SPI, AP to touch, SCLK, CON. This is very important. If this filter is not present, then touch is not going to work. The other missing component is most likely a capacitor and we do not have to put this one back. So let's start by prepping the pads on this one and we'll solder a filter that we're going to get from a donor board. These filters are extremely small, the smallest components on the iPhone, the 1005 SMD components. A tweezers head is actually bigger than the component. Look at this, and this is a very fine tweezer. We have an even finer tweezer, it's a Swiss one. It may be a tiny bit finer than the other one, the Hakko one. So the first thing we're gonna do is apply solder to those two pads so we can prep the board, this and this. And we're gonna use a soldering tip that nobody else has in the world. And I'll tell you why. It's a 90 degree tip. They do not sell tips like this in the market. Honestly, this tip was straight. It fell down and it bent 90 degrees. And since then, I've been using this tip so much, especially when dealing with the 1005 components. It's very, very convenient. I can easily get to the pads like this. Th I cannot tell you how thin this tip is. It's extremely thin. It's thin to a point where it actually matches the size of the component. Let's apply some flux here. Maybe Weller should make 90 degree tips. So what I'm going to do is apply solder onto the tip. And we're gonna tap the pads. See, I just created two solder blobs there. Now let's get rid of the glare. And we have a donor board here. Let's get the part from the donor board. I've used so much stuff from that donor board, including the FEC connector that you see here. And I've used a lot of filters also, so we have to find a filter that we can use. Based on the board diagram, on the 10th pin, right under the 10th pin, is a filter. So let's go to our board. And we're gonna count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a filter right here. Let's just test to make sure that this is a filter. It should be continuous, front to end. Okay, and it's a filter. Let's remove it with our hot tweezers. And let's put it on here. And that's it. The job is done. Very solid. Okay, the component is very solid in place. I mean, the hot tweezers are at 410 degrees Celsius. So it melts solder like a piece of cake. Let's go ahead and try the phone to see if it's working. And uh, we're gonna use the customer's screen if she sent us screws, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back on and send her a fully functional phone that's ready to go. The first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery. And it's already disconnected. Connect the screen. Okay, so everything is plugged in, and let's try the phone. Considering the battery is charged, it should turn on. Turn on the fume extractor, or before we do so, let me just tin that beautiful tip that I have. Is touch working? And touch is working. So let's go uh, to emergency so we can try all the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everything's good. And the job is done. Only took a few minutes and that's it. We're going to package it, invoice the customer, ship it back to her. And uh, like, subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.